Hello guys, how are you? Uh, last time I showed you how to change an image into a text or repeat pattern in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, someone is asking me, how can we change a design that I found maybe on the internet or an image that I took, but I want to change the colors. So I'm going to show you how you can change the color of an image. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to, but now I'm working in Photoshop. I will show you how to do it in Illustrator first, but now I want to show you how to do it in Photoshop. I'll click File, Open, and then I will export my image. So this image that I have, this guys, I created this image using this new AI tool called the new black ai please guys i encourage you to look at this ai it can change any text into an image for me i selected that my i want my images to be textile fabric prints uh and then i wrote my text explaining exactly what i wanted a print uh a design that i can use on, on an african wax print fabrics 100 percent cotton and then i gave the instruction of how i want the design to look like uh that is the image that i'm exporting here guys you should check out the new black ai so but you can use any image you can use any image as i told you maybe you got it from the internet maybe from something that you took off from your phone of course i don't encourage you to take other people's work um you have to be ethical designers but you have taken it in your image it can be jpeg png or any as long as it's compatible now you want to change the colors of your design so basically what i will do is i will click on image mode then rgb is clicked and then rgb then image again mod and then indexed color and then so this color palette here is showing me this uh that's this table here is showing me the number of colors that i have in this design so they are about 20 i've got about 20 number of colors me i only want a few maybe six maybe seven that i want to work with so i can already start reducing 15 let me start reducing to 15 or even 10 ah, i don't want many colors maybe 10 but it was 20 before and then make sure here is selected local selective fourth none click transparent preview so that you can see as you are changing and then you click okay then i'll go back to my image mode image mode color table and then this is the color table it's showing me the 10 textile colors that i have here i have got 10 colors here but I, I don't i want to change these colors these are all the colors that i have in my design so first of all what i can do is i can combine the similar colors for example this one and this one they are almost similar so i can choose one say i like this one i click it and then i will come down here it will show me the value or the code of the color i will copy it right and then i will close the color table and then i will go on this one this one has another code i will remove it using the backspace and then i will paste the new code that i like and i'll say okay and then i also i have this one and this one but i want to, i can combine these ones if i want into one color maybe i like this dark one here and um or this lighter one but for this time i think let me choose the dark color so i'll take this one okay i said i want to choose the dark color so i'll take the dark colors code copy it close here then i'll come here on this one and then i'll put the codes that i like okay okay right is it is this okay 
or do you think I sh it should remain as it was guys all right here I'm just showing you how you can change colors and then I've got this green here then I've got this cream I don't this cream is appearing here here but I think I can just make the same color as this one here in this uh, cream here can be the same color so I'll copy this code here open it copy the code here close then I'll click on this one backspace to remove the existing color and I will paste if I want it okay and then I will paste and then I've got the colors oh sorry I don't know what I did I think I didn't click okay after I pasted paste and then I'll click okay and then I have these two colors for my flowers which I think is okay and then I have this black here uh, do I want this black yeah I think I can leave it as it is I think I can leave it as it is so guys this is what my design looks like I've reduced the number of colors and um, if I still want to change it maybe I don't want to work with these colors this turquoise and this orange I'm not good with colors guys but maybe I want to totally change the design and work with new new totally new complete colors for example maybe I want green here maybe I want purple here so what I can do is I for example these two right here right I can uh, change the color to purple I can play around with this to see what my design would looks like if I'm to change this color none of these colors is making sense for me but you see how you can change the color using this one or you can move around this one to change the color all right so i want to change like i said i want purple so i will select picker here and then i will go and change look at purple how is purple looking okay like well, okay i selected purple then i'll click okay and i'll click okay again so i also want to change this one to purple so i can um click on this one I can take this click on this one that I like copy it right close the color table and then come here and uh, paste the color that I want to put which I said I want purple okay how does it look I don't know guys what do you think then I want to change this flowers to green maybe I want green so I'll select this one that I want to change and I'll move it down here where there is green how is green coming out guys not good not quite good not quite good not quite the green that I want but anyway for the sake of showing you the concept I'll select this one and then a green and then also this one this yellow I don't know is it yellow beige I don't know I want a lighter green here so I can move around it's not coming out let me leave the green let me leave the orange the way it is let me leave the orange okay so I'll click okay I'm going to leave it but I'm going to change this black. I don't like this black here. But I'm thinking what color should I put? Green. This green there. This black. I don't like it at all. At all. I don't like it. And, um, still not quite. So let me select my pick and maybe select um i'm here right i'm on this black let me select um, this one green green no <laughs> i 
guys do you see what's happening to my design which color do you recommend me to select for my background here do i leave it as black all right let me select this one and click okay Normally, this purple should i take purple or should i take another color so i have purple i have green i have black so you guys i think you get the concept now so i can play around with these colors and change them until i'm satisfied with my design like right now i'm not satisfied i'm not even close to being satisfied let me select this one this purple What do you think of this one? Okay. Okay. Let me see how this will look. Copy. Then I want to change this to backspace. Test. Okay. All right. So this is a new design, completely new design. And I've got this color green. I've got this yellow. Anyway, guys, I think you get the concept of where I'm going. And then when I am done and I'm satisfied, which I'm not, but for now, I'll end here. I'll, you get the concept. You get the idea. I'll click. Okay if you go to image here again mod color table let's see image mod back to rgb image mode index color my num the number of color that i have is seven okay and then image mode color table so these are my seven colors now showing the similar ones here automatically combined on their own i can click okay so guys this is my design i'm finished i'm done but like i told you you can work around it until you are satisfied with the colors you can change the colors you can reduce for me normally i like to work with four or three colors but you know it's your design you can do what you want continue to play around the colors until you are satisfied then you save your design and then you can always export it to uh what do you call it adobe illustrator and make your repeat pattern or you can even make your repeat pattern here in photoshop i will show you later but like this for now i'm going to leave it i've shown you what i wanted to show you today thank you so much have a good night